Hello, my name is Norm Du, and welcome back to Civilization V, Gods and Kings, where we are the Byzantine Empire. We have recently taken Ramsey and another city from Boudica, which we uh, pillaged and destroyed. We are on turn 300, nice even turn, and we are going to get underway here to continue our great adventure. Oh, so she wants peace now. <laughs> You're gonna give me 52 gold, really? That's like nothing. Sorry, but no. Oh, come on, Ethiopia. You're my friend. Why? You don't need to denounce me. Come on, man. Very well. Oh, you too. Come on. You know what? I'm gonna tell you you'll pay for this, because I don't like you. It looks like it is We Love the King Day back in my homeland because all of my cities like me because I got some uh, stuff I guess. We get to upgrade our Gatling guns, of course we'll go for the second one. I recruit Basil successfully led the election to Antwerp and we are almost allies so let's just give him the 250 to become allies because they are mercantile which should boost up our happiness. Wait a second. No! Have to give more. That stinks. There we go, allies. Looks like they gave us a little bit more happiness. Our other spy also rigged successfully in Belgrade, but we are not allies. But this is a military, um, militaristic. Oh well, we might as well become allies with them also. 15 influence should be enough, I would think, and then, yep, there we go. Kuala Lumpur, we are also very close to them, so let's become allies because they are culture and we like more culture. More allies. We, we're just allies with everybody, I think. Let's have Carthage build us the Circus Maximus for more happiness. Alright, we're still trying to take down Edinburgh with our Gatling guns and everyone else, so hopefully we can do that. You got him, boys. Come on, boys. Come on. Yeah. Charge the cavalry. Hit them. Take them out. Oh yeah, those guys are pretty good, especially against our little crossbowmen. Now this cannon really needs to heal because Edinburgh really hit it down. We can now move in our other two Gatling guns, so that will really help out with Edinburgh and hope we can get them in the next two turns or so. Let's see if we can't spread our religion to Ethiopia's cities now, since we have already spread it to all of uh, Madrid and that area, all of Boudicca's. So, yeah, we need to spread out there. Oh, and we have an artillery gun that uh, one of our city states gave us, so let's bring that over the sea, over the ocean. All right, we get to promote our Gatling gun to the second. And then fire at Edinburgh. We now have all four of our Gettingburg surrounding Edinburgh. So I think we'll be able to take it out next turn. But it's interesting, uh, Isabella has been moving in her army like she wants Edinburgh. But you know, <laughs> I'm not going to let her. Alright, now since we uh, got the election, we're going to move our spies to different city-states. And as I said before, there's no point for me to move them really to another civilization to steal text because... No one has decks. Alright, so Monaco is one that we'll want to move because they have culture and we're not friends with them yet. And let's move Dimitris to Laventa because I believe that was a... Because I believe that was a faith uh, city-state. Oh, yes. The moment we've been Let's waiting for. Things. Two things are needed. A plan. Not quite enough time. Cost of gold purchasing in all cities reduced by 15%. That is the Big Ben wonder for you. Starting with a bang. Boom. There we go. Now they're to nothing, but hopefully we have a horse that can reach. There we go. My horse was able to reach because I moved a Gatling gun. And now Edinburgh will be ours. Here we go. Boom.
Looks like a pretty good city. Quite a few buildings and specialist buildings, which is really good to start out with that. So I think we'll just go ahead and annex this city. So then we have a point on this other island that we can buy units and send people over. Even though it took us down a ton of happiness, sadly. We'll be uh, making the courthouse there, so. Uh, let's just keep Constantinople building some wonders. So let's see. The Louvre looks like a pretty good one. Bandenburg Gate. Hmm, that one's not that much. Eiffel Tower probably build. Let's do the Louvre because it gives us plus four culture. What in the world did Belgrade give me? A Byzantine Hussar. I don't even know what that is. Looks like a horseman or something. Alright, we'll just be moving them over. And homeless, near a thousand homes I stood. And near a thousand tables pined and wanted food. Alright, the submarine. This will be very fun. Strength of 60, sweet. And the stadium for some happiness, which we might be using. Offshore platform. I have not used that. I'm pretty sure that's new to the Gods and Kings. That will be very interesting, so we'll probably be building some of those. Sending the Hussar over. Let's make Ethiopia angry and spur religion to Addis Ababa, their capital. Hmm. All of these texts are just really sweet. I just like it when it gets to this era, the modern era. I just love the future in modern era. Alright, I would get flight, but we still do not have any oil. As you can see, we have zero oil. We have two coal. Tons of aluminum. I'm not sure why we have oil, because I'm pretty sure that we have some city-states that are friends that have oil, but... Uh, Oh well, I guess we'll go for plastics then, because we get these sweet inventory and the research lab, which is huge for science. Plus 50% science, that will really get us moving into the next era. Looks like Isabella's trying to take out Boudica's last city, Truro, and then Boudica would be gone. I could take it, I guess, but I guess I'll just let Isabella take it. And there she did, she took it. Norm dualism is almost spread worldwide. All of Isabella's cities, most, I think all of Ethiopia's now, see? Yeah. So we almost, I mean, Norm dualism is obviously the world religion, which is good, because that means it's given us tons of points. The only people that don't is uh, Attila over here, has its own religion. But you know, we'll get it soon enough, because we just got another great prophet. An unidentified spy stole the secrets of chemistry from Constantinople. Well, we might have to be building some buildings that stop the spies from doing that, because they're going to keep doing it. All right, in Palenque, let's start building some more military, because we got these basic infantry unit of the modern era, Great War Infantry. Haven't tried them, so let's get them out there, because that will be fun. Oh yes, Carthage has finished the Circus Maximus. So next, let's get a boat because it is one of our only uh, cities on shore. A submarine. <laughs> a new thing that we can get. That would be awesome. Oh! The Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal rises above the banks of the river like a solitary tear suspended on the cheek of time. The cheek of time. <laughs> so all this gives us is the golden age, which is, you know, that's good because we're now getting 228 a turn. Ooh, a great person has been born to Constantinople. We can use this engineer to speed up another wonder, I guess. We can now use our cannon and upgrade it to artillery, which will be very nice. We also now have 18 happiness, that's really big, because, I guess because of the golden age, but we were only at 8, so that's a big improvement. Okay, I'm looking for another wonder that I could build. The Statue of Liberty and the Eiffel Tower. I want the big one because I'm going to use the engineer to make it anyways. This gives a lot of happiness, but if you look at the Statue of Liberty, plus one production from every specialist in every city. Every city has like five specialists probably. And that's every city. We, our production would go up so much, it would just be insane. So we're going to do the Statue of Liberty, and I'll take my engineer right over there. 
All right there's our engineer driving in and we can now hurry up the production of that Statue of Liberty. Oh, it says five turns now that we'll get it. That's that's pretty good. It didn't give us one turn like it does a lot of times, but that's pretty sweet. Ramsey has finally finished the courthouse, so we can now add on to its queue. Let's get the granary. Let's go with theater, market, aqueduct, shrine, and there we go. All right, so we have our two cities on the other continent, but right now I'm just kind of letting my men just sit around. Um, I'm not really fighting anyone at this moment. A little peace era, I guess. If anyone, we'd probably be fighting Isabella because she keeps on coming up on us and she's just angry, so. Bam. Yes. I want to say one word to you. Just one word. Plastic. <laughs> That's a pretty good word. Just one word. Okay, so we get the infantry and the research lab, like I was talking about. And Cristo Rendentar, with lots of culture. So we will probably be building all of those things. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Our submarine is prepared. Look at our harbor, it looks pretty cool too. Wow, it's under the water. That's just awesome. Look at it. Oh, we just have to find some barbarians to attack with this bad boy. Because that, oh man, it's going to blow them up. Ooh, we also got some great war infantry. These are going to be sweet also. Look at their nice little helmets. Oh yeah. We'll go ahead and have Plinke do the research lab for that science that I was talking about. We'll also have Carthage do the research lab because, you know, that's just great. Alright, so we're looking at our social policies. And we've already got three completed. We have to have five to win a culture victory, which is very good. Um, we cannot do rationalism because only PD can... Well, because PD and rationalism can't be used at the same time. And we cannot do adocracy or order because freedom cannot be used when those two are used. So we're going to have to go for like patronage or honor or uh, tradition. We don't really want commerce, that's just like gold and ships, but patronage might be the next one to go for because this is all about city-states pretty much. It makes our influence not to, uh, go down as fast, so it's pretty good because we could also, if I decide to go for a diplomatic victory, which is where we would need all these city-states to be on our side, and this would really help. So just by adopting this, the influence with city-states degrades 25% slower than normal. So that's good. So we're going to go with that one. All right, for our research, we could get to the Atomic Era, which is a new era, really, that they made for Gods and Kings. But we are going to get the Modern Era completely finished, hopefully, first, because there's some great stuff. Landship, I don't even know what that is, a destroyer an anti-aircraft gun, and a machine gun, which will upgrade all of our uh, gun, our machine guns that we already have. I forget what they're called, but that would be really cool. So let's go with flight, and then we'll probably get railroad next. And all of this stuff is like war stuff. It'll be sweet. All right, well, that is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, Please give me a like on this video, give me some feedback, write a comment, something funny, I don't know. Uh, we are on turn 314, and we will be continuing this next time. So see you then.